Good day. Hello to all my lovely peeps out there in my universal world of peeps. Today, I am going to basically, I ain't going to bend it. I'm going to spin it. I'm going to spin one of my old recipes into a new one. <laughs> oh, yes I am. And because I'm going to be doing that, I thought this is a royal occasion. Dun, 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 dun. Mama Cherry is going to be frying up some chicken, but with some of my homemade jerk seasoning going on the inside and on the outside. <laughs> oh, yes. What the heck are you doing? I'm showing them how I'm going to spin my recipe, fried chicken, MCFC, into my hot wonderful jerky chicken. I thought you were going to say MCFJC. Well, that's two. That's two. <laughs> MCFC JC JC <laughs> jerk chicken. So, I divert you as usual. You just wrote a whole jingle I know I did. the top of your head. Here we go. So, to do this, the very first thing I need to do is I'm going to show y'all how we can Throw down some quick and easy jerk seasoning. Now, the other day, when I was at a market selling my seasonings, a man came up to me and he sampled it and he went, Oh, mama, that tastes like a salsa verde. He did do that. And I said, you know what? <laughs> it sure does. So, this is... Because, you know, when you say jerk seasoning, sometimes it scares people because they think it's going to be too hot. So, I like salsa verde. So, this is my <laughs> jerk salsa verde. So, here we go. Let me put my crown back here up there. Can you see my crown? I can. Eden, darling, you're going to have to be okay. quiet. Very quiet. So, this is how quick and easy this salsa verde jerky can be done in a matter of... Because I know my daughter going to try and time me. I'm not going to time you. Two and a half minutes. All right, it's on. Let's Here go. Here we go. You've got to, okay. You got it? Yeah. So, you get yourself some spring onions. Chop off the ends. And you want to make this really kind of chunky like. So, you ain't got to worry about cutting them up too much. Throw them into a little hand blender. Mixer. And we don't want to waste nothing. So, we're going to put all of this up in there. What am I at? 30 seconds? Yeah, yeah, you are actually. Okay. <laughs> then, look at this old thing. That was in my fridge, looking a little bit sad. What is it? Coriander. Okay. So, I'm just going to throw that in. But we also need some parsley. And I've got myself, what do I do with my scissors? I had them right here. Oh, here they are. So, I'm just going to chop off some parsley. Stick my parsley in. And I've got you showing you there's two different varieties. Okay, you've, got so you've got curly. Your curly and you've got your leaf parsley. Flat leaf, yeah. Flat leaf. So we're going to throw that all in. To that, we're going to add some peppers. Now, I instead normally this recipe calls for scotch bonnet, but not everybody can find a scotch bonnet pepper. But almost everybody can find one of these old plain old kind of like bird's eyesy ones. Bird's eyesy. All right, these normal chili. So I'm going to put a little bit of green and red chili in there. Put a little bit more. Then, to this, I have now devised my own. Yes, I have my own. Ooh, jerk seasoning. It's like my Cajun seasoning, but with a jerk. Okay, so is that one of our dry rubs? One of our dry rubs. So we're going to put a little bit of that in. Then, some fresh lime. So, what I tend to do is just cut off a little bit of the outside and throw it in. But, the thing that brings it all together is the oil. On with the oil. So, you want to put a nice generous amount of oil in there. Then you go and get yourself, where's my lid? Oh here it is. <laughs> You're gonna put your lid on 
Then you just want to go. Okay, two and a half minutes. And guess what? Your jerk seasoning is done. Well, Mom, that was two and a half minutes. Was it two and a half? Two and a half minutes. Okay, now look at this. Let me have a look. Oh, good Guga Muga Yoga. What's the matter? That's lovely. Oh, that looks great. And you know what? Very good. Can I have a taste? Ow! Oh, did you get chilli? Wow! Did you get chilli? It's a little bit spicy. <laughs> wow! Get some I need water. to add a little bit of salt. Get some water. <laughs> Alright, Ethan. And it needs a tiny bit more oil. Just to bring it all together. So let's put that back on. And mix it. And voila. Jerk seasoning done. Now to move on to part two. Oh, jerk seasoning done. Next step is you want to get you some chicken. Keep the skin on. Very important. Now, what we want to do, as you can see, I have already marinated this chicken with my Cajun seasoning, available online. That's right. Or Patreon. That's right. Come and get it. <laughs> but, I always find when I'm marinating my chicken, the best way to kind of release those flavors is you got to top it with a little bit of oil. Okay? Now, I know I'm frying, and people are going to say, if you're frying, why you need more oil? Because it's oil to oil makes it good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the way I like it. Mom, please never, ever do that again. <laughs> oil to oil. To oil. <laughs> Katrina, you know every time you tell me not to do something, it only pumps me up to do it more. Why so, do you think I say it? I know this. <laughs> I know this. So, girl, get out of my face. Let me get back to what I'm doing. So, you got your chicken. Now what you've got to do, and I put my gloves on, mainly because I am dealing with raw poultry. And it's just a little bit yucky, the feel. So, get yourself a leg, a drumstick. And then you need to get your finger, and you need to dig a hole. All right, let me, hang on, let me. Like that. Yeah, like that. All right? Then you take your seasoning and you plunk it on down inside. Okay. Okay? Good shot. Right on up in there. Okay, I understand why you've got the gloves on now. Now you see? Mm -hmm. If you can, peel back a little bit of skin and stick a little bit under the skin and bring it back up. Oh my up. god, that's going to be amazing. Then you move on to the next one. So what do we do? Let me see it one more time. We poke. So phallic. We <laughs> stuff. Oh my god, this is so rude. <laughs> and we rub. Oh my god, this is so rude. Oh, shut up, <laughs> Katrina. It's only you get that mind out of the gutter and into the chicken. Okay, hang on a minute. Here we go. No, I need oh. some backup. Can you post in the comments, please, if you agree with me that this is just a little bit rude? Who don't want a little bit of rudeness <laughs> in their food? Food is meant to be enjoyed. Food is sensual. Yeah, clearly. It's very sensual. <laughs> so, here we go. Under the skin. Okay, okay. one more and then I need to stop. We can't have... <laughs> we can't get a, bad, a YouTube we strike. Poke. <laughs> we stuff. <laughs> and we rub. And let me carry on doing it. It's therapeutic. <laughs> Okay. Oh. We have dibble dabbles and sorted out our seasoning and our chicken. But the next stage is we got to get on to the frying and into the flouring it up. But so, before I flour my chicken and season it, I need to get my oil going. So, you put a pan on the stove. You get your oil. You add your oil. To the pot. Now, Mum, how much oil do you need? You 
need as much oil as it takes to cover your chicken halfway, okay? So you only, you only want to have that oil halfway. But it's not just oil that we put in. Because when we make mama's fried chicken, it's not just about the oil. It's about the butter. butter. Yes, you heard. Yes, butter. So, get yourself a nice hunk of butter. Put it in the pan. Because the butter adds to the color and the flavor of your meat. So, butter, oil, together, equals, boil. <laughs> butter, oil, butter, oil. Okay, Think wait. of the B and the O. Okay, Mom. Wow. So we're making it clear that in order to make the, the flavor right and with you the browning, need, you gotta have butter and oil. Okay. It's important. All right. So, you know what? But I don't want that to burn. So I'm going to turn my pot down a bit. Okay. My pan, my frying pan. Now we come um, to... Are you going to add any old oil to it, do you think? No, I'm not going to add any old oil because this is my first one that I'm making. I tend to reuse my oil, um, but as this is the first time, first generation, this is the oil. I would save this butter and oil and put it into a pot for a later time. Got it. Okay. For the next time I okay, make so it. Okay, so you basically you said you just chucked away a, a, a batch that you just had. Huh? If this is the first generation, have you just thrown away a batch that from before and then? From before, yeah, I've, yeah. I've used it and used got it, it and got used it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So it's time for a new okay, batch. There was a question though that somebody okay, asked yeah. in the last fried chicken video, Mark. Yes. How many times would you generally reuse it before throwing I'd it away? It. Well, I, I, like I say, because oil it boils, off, it burns off, mm -hmm. so it gets slower and darker and darker and darker. And when it gets to that dark, dark color, and you don't want to use and it. Lots of and sediment. there's a lot of sediment in it. That's when you get rid of your oil and your butter. Great. Okay. Thank you, Mum, because I know a lot so, of people have asked, so I wanted to get Here we go. We got some flour. To the flour, I'm going to add some of Mama's Cajun seasoning, as well as some of Mama's jerk seasoning. We're going to add a touch of salt, not too much, because remember, salt is already one of the key ingredients in my marinade. All right, I'm going to take my pan, off, my oil off the stove, taking my oil off the stove because I don't want to burn it. And here we go, some black pepper. What's that? What's that Why black pepper? Because that's just what it is. I could have red pepper, but I'm going with black pepper. So, don't be afraid to get your hands in there. Oh, the flour. So, pot back on the stove. And here we go. So we're going to start, wait a minute. Before I can start frying my chicken, chicken, I got to go back to being the queen of chicken. <laughs> of chicken. Is nanny, but does nanny make the best fried chicken, Eden? Yes. Uh, uh, can you can say, you say that, with, that with, some, with some confidence, please? Yes. Who makes the best fried chicken? Nanny. Look at the camera and say it. Nanny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we go. You want to just take, take a piece of chicken. Now normally I would oh. not. <laughs> normally I use a bag, but because of this, I don't want all of this dropping off, and I really want to just be gentle with it. Okay. So I'm just rolling that in, give it a bit of a shake, and straight to the pan. Okay. Right, so I noticed with the thigh it was skin side down. Always skin side down. Okay, okay. But obviously drumsticks covered in skin, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but always start with your skin side down. You want to get some crispiness going. You want to coat that. Okay, so but please make sure that your oil is hot before you put your chicken in. Okay, can you see how mine is bu bubbling up? Mom! Mom! Eat a mummy's busy, sweetheart. Okay, and what you can see on the top of that oil... Come to me. Alright, what you can see on the top of that oil is the butter! Okay. Oh, Mum, it smells delicious. That seasoning, that... 
hot salsa verde. My hot jerk <laughs> salsa verde. It smells so good. Yes, it does. Let's okay. get some more. So I noticed that you've got quite a few pieces of chicken in the pan. Yeah. Is that would you recommend that being the best way to go? Oh yeah. Oh. You want to cook it, you know, you know. Let's get, you know, fill it up. Okay. I've got room for one more piece in there. Looks great, man. Okay. Okay, so we will just oh. leave that. Let me turn my oh, yeah, turn, turn it up, up a little bit. bit. And let's just leave that to cook. And I shall come back to Mama's jerk chicken after I wash my hands. Okay. Let me wash my hands. Once you have turned your chicken, it is advisable, if you can, to just, just cover it. By covering your chicken, it helps it to cook or keeps that heat inside and cooks that chicken through to the bone. So we want it cooked to the bone, all right? And, and I'd say that's going to cook for about another 10, 15 minutes. I might turn it again, all right? But then you leave the lid off. Okay. So that's our jerk chicken, our MC, MC, JC. I've got a question. Go on. Do you leave the temperature the same when you cover it, or do you change it? Uh, no, you can leave it the same. I mean, if you feel it is cooking too fast, you always lowered it, which is what I did. I lowered it down. But at this stage, because I did lower it, I'm going to actually bring that temperature a little bit up. Okay. Because you want a nice, even temperature. So you just it. want to keep an eye on it. And keep an eye judgment on it. Call. You've got flour on your face, Mum. Do I? Yes. Other side. On your temple. Come here. No, no. <laughs> you wiped it everywhere. Look. look. Turn around. Well, you know what? If I got flour on my face, it shows... I'm into my food. Yes. Okay, I've got a little bit more to cook here. And as you can see, I've now moved my jerk seasoning into my container that I will put into the fridge. Mm, that is so good. Oh, it's delicious. Um, and carry on cooking with it. See you in a minute. My chicken, in my opinion, is ready. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out one of the bigger pieces. I think that one. Move it to the side. And all I want to do is I'm going to cut through because we want to get near to the bone to make sure that our chicken is cooked. Now this one actually, no, have a look at that. Okay, it's still a skinny bit pink, so I'm going to put that back in. Let's cover it. Oops, we do see it, but... So, that was the biggest piece. It only needs about two, three more minutes on it. The other pieces, I am sure, I'm pretty confident, like my legs, will be ready. Look at that. 100%. And look at that jerk seasoning you can see. Me. Can you see the seasoning? Yep. All right. Now, all you can see there is a vein. Because sometimes people look at chicken and they get confused. That's nothing wrong with that chicken. That is cooked all the way through. Let's take that out. Okay, so I'm going to take my legs out. Because they are definitely done. And also you need to rest your meat. So we're going to leave this to rest. Because while meat is resting, it does carry on cooking. Finishing off. For a short time. There we go. There's another drum stick in there, Mum. I know. Okay, just leaving it. Oh, yeah. Juices are running clear. Okay, so can you tell people what to be looking for to make sure that it's cooked? You, you're making sure that your juices are running clear. You want to make sure that there is no pinky redness next to the bone. Look at that. That is completely cooked. Yeah, that is completely Okay, so let's take that out. So, it is ready. Now, let me show you here. We have got a lot of sediment. Can you see? Yeah, there's loads. There's loads in that. Now, what I would have done, I like to save my oil. So, I would 
kind of, oh, but I'm got to be up. really careful, Mama. Okay. And using the drippings from the bottom of the pan, I could go on to make some homemade gravy. Okay. Should I do that? Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Do it. Let's just do that real quick. Okay. Just to show you how quick All right, so and easy. Let me move the oil up. Let me move this oil. Put it back there. Okay, so let me just see. So this is the flour, the sediment. This is the flour. Mm hmm and all of the bits that has come from the bottom of my, come off of my chicken. Okay. All right? I don't need all of it. Mm-hmm. So you're pouring away the excess I'm oil? Pour, I'm pouring off, I am pouring off the excess oil. Okay. So, to this, I am going to add a little bit of Cajun seasoning. And then I would normally add some veg some some kind of a vegetable stock. I've been cooking some sweet potatoes which I'm going to be using in another recipe. So I'm going to use the water. from my sweet potatoes to create a nice gravy. That's ridiculously simple. Okay, I could use, I need a little bit more water. Can I get you some? Yeah, let me just get a touch more. Just hand me the kettle. That'll oh, have some okay. water in it. Yeah, it does. Very little. Okay, and, and there goes the alarm, go on right there, there's a thing just poking up, that's my fire, just grab the hose, and good Google Mooga Katrina, oh no, you know how clumsy, turn it off, you know where the fire thing is, smoke alarm, poke it, yeah I was trying to keep the camera on you at the same time, Mom. Trying to multitask. We know how great at that I am. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, what I would add to that is it needs either. Yeah, I've got one here. I've got myself one of these stock pots. Mm -hmm. So if you've got like a stock pot of any kind or a stock cube, this is just an onion one, and it's just to give it a little bit more flavor. Okay. So we're gonna add. Look how thick that is. A little bit. This. Okay, move back because I need more water. Okay. But look at that rich, thick, dark gravy. So if you were having a chicken with mashed potatoes. If you were having mashed potatoes or, you know, just over the chicken. If I were making some biscuits, you could have some biscuits, chicken, and gravy. Yes, that would be amazing. Mmm, it's good. It needs a little bit more depth to it. What do you think it needs? Actually, can I have a taste and tell you what I think Yeah, it yeah, here. Just off the back of the spoon. Oops. Yeah, it needs some salt. Mm-hmm. And it needs some pepper. You know what? I put in a little bit of the um, jerk seasoning. In yeah. No, but the um, a little the, bit of the wet. The wet jerk seasoning. Yeah, I'd stir a little bit of that into yeah. it. Just yeah, let's that, try that. That flavour. Let's get that flavour through chicken. it. Okay. So this is how we cook. We tend to just kind of experiment. <laughs> oh, yeah. I bet you that does it. Oh yes. Has it brought it out? Yeah, it has. And then you could just leave that just to cook down to cook those flavors through it. Try it. Yeah. 
Ooh. just lifted it and just let those cook those flavors cook through right. and where's my crown where's my crown El Eden give me my crown it's over there on my top of my bag quickly please thank you sweetheart thank you so from the mama I just like say I will I will finish off cooking that chicken later but like let's have the, I'd like to taste a piece please yep let's have a look at this lovely jerk chicken and let's grab what piece should we grab Five thigh for me please okay huh you want that one yeah okay and we're going to and I'm going to spoon a little bit of gravy over that okay So yeah, you can see it. It's cooked all the way through. See? It's cooked. I'm trying to find where my... Oh, no, I bet you this is a piece that doesn't have the seasoning. The thighs didn't have the jerk seasoning. Didn't they? No, not all, all of them. them. No, not okay. all of them. Okay. Well, then let me mm. just have a taste anyway of that piece, and then we'll have mm. a drumstick. Mmm. Mmm. It's good, though. Oh, it's delicious. Mmm. Go with this one. Mmm. Yeah, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. -hmm. So, yeah. Wait a minute. So, with a little bit of peace, a little bit of love, and a whole heaping. Oh, good, 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 that's good. Oh, you need to share that. Mm. Hold on. Mom. <laughs> Go on, take some. No, I'm done over it now. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> sa she says that. Watch that hand come out. <laughs> Go for this piece here. That's a big, mm. chunky bit. Go on. Mm. Oh, it's delicious, Mum. So, we shall be having Mama's MC, oh, MC, wow. JC mm. for dinner tonight. Mm. I feel like chicken tonight. Lunch, you mean? Yes, true. Lunch. Mm, this is good. Delicious. Thanks, Mum. Mm. Bye.